Okay, guys, we're uh, <coughs> we're just at cru cru cruise flight level now, two one zero. Um, we're just heading towards uh, the Wallasey Pool, which is um, near uh, Liverpool. Uh, we've got the um, <coughs> Welsh coast on the left-hand side there, and uh, a bit cloudy there now. But we've got Liverpool um, just below us on the uh, on the right side of the aircraft. Um, let's turn the weather radar down now. Uh, what we'll do, <coughs> we'll uh, we'll come back when we're uh, just about top of descent and start the descent down into uh, Dublin. So we'll uh, see you again shortly. Uh, okay, guys, uh, you just join me now. Um, which we are approaching our uh, top of descent. Um, what I've done, I've set the uh, altitude on the MCP to 6,000 feet because we have the first con uh, altitude constriction we've got uh, is at Kerav and we need to be at flight level 6,000 or above so we we'll put the uh, altitude there to 6,000 feet and uh, we should start descending uh, in fact uh, about now. There we are, we're just going to it then. And it will try and follow this uh, this diamond here in the in the descent uh, profile. Now, what I will tell you is this aircraft is an absolute pig to slow down. You will need to use the uh, speed brakes, and um, it does take some slowing down. So we'll see how we go anyway. I uh, I usually um, do a manual descent. I do a flight level change and set the speed. Uh, 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 to what, what I feel happy with uh, for the descent ride but for this uh, this video I think what we'll do is uh, we'll go with um, uh, a VNAV uh, descent Master Caution has just popped on I'm not sure why that is I don't see anything can miss anywhere we'll um, pop the seatbelts on Sure, what that is there. Off schedule descent. No, I don't know. We see what happens anyway. Just, um, just approaching our next waypoint, which is Ad Adsis, A D S I S, and then we've got. Uh, care up just uh, just after that so what we'll do we'll, uh, we'll come back uh, in a few minutes time when we're uh, at or around uh, 6,000 feet <coughs> okay guys <coughs> we're just coming up to 6,000 uh, feet mark now I've reset the altitude and the MCP to 3,000 feet um, we're now turning uh, towards our, our final approach. Uh, I've put the uh, ILS frequencies into the nav radios, 108.9, the runway 10 at Dublin, and I've also put the, um, the course into uh, the um, first officer's and captain's uh, course control, which is 99 degrees. So we're trying to slow the aircraft down now. We've got some speed brakes out. And uh, we're going to set the uh, auto brakes to uh, two. We've, uh, as you can see in the FMC, it's telling us we need some drag, and I have got the speed brakes out full, so um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, so um, where are we now? We're at just uh, coming up to 4,000 feet. Dublin Airport's over there somewhere, and let's have a look at. Uh, how are we doing? We'll put a first stage of flaps down now. We're coming round. Um, you can see the uh, ILS um, is just appearing on, so we can click the localizer button there, and we should pick up the uh, the uh, localizer. We're a little bit above the uh, glide slope at the minute. We need to try and get below that. Let's 
see uh, see what happens. Army approach, but I'm not sure whether it will pick that glide slow, but. the stage of flaps down. I think we'll do we'll do a flight change there and Please. Let's descent right a little bit more as we try and get the glide slope. We might be made that 23. Gotta watch the uh, speed, that's any problem. Ah, there we go. I've got the glide slope now, so that's fine. We can, can I arm that again? It's okay. I've brought the pilot two on. Um, pop the gear down now. Try and get a little bit less speed. Sixty knots. That should uh, flash yellow shortly to indicate we're locked onto the um, ILS. There we go, and glide slope. Okay, guys. So um, we are uh, fully established on the ILS for runway uh, one zero Dublin. We're going to drop the speed down now. Zero. I've set the Q and H 1, for 1019. The flaps will drop the gear down. And uh, <clears throat> reduce the speed again to 140. A bit more flaps. We can switch that to <clears throat> and uh, speed of one three zero now. Five. Pack the lights two red two white. Four hundred. We're going to do a, <coughs> a complete uh, cat three auto land. See how this. Uh, Aircraft performs with an auto land. So here we go. Minimum. Got a bit of a crosswind at Dublin today. One hundred. Light slow. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Throttles back a little bit. Twenty. Ten. A little bit off the centre line, but uh, that's no real problem. Reverses go on. Second, um, turn the lights off. Tack 
keeps the lights on strobe can go off and uh, take can go off as well uh, tax lights are on yeah Oop. okay and we'll just uh, clean up the aircraft now That off might help a little bit. Which our brakes too off. So, uh, welcome to Dublin in uh, Ireland. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's um, just a quick look at the IX uh, EG 737 and uh, and run through how the uh, the aircraft operates and uh, it, uh, it's uh, it's quite simple to uh, to use once you get into the aircraft. It's a very nice aircraft, I must say, with uh, really good frame rates. <coughs> I've not got the uh, the best of computers. <laughs> it's not uh, um, up to date machine that I'm running uh, explain on. But you do get really good frame rise through this aircraft for the uh, quality of the cockpit, the textures uh, and, and all the systems that it's, uh, you've got. Uh, I don't think you can, uh, you can grumble. So as we taxi uh, into Dublin, we'll uh, take a left here and just park up at uh, one of the stands on the right hand side. Until next time, <clears throat> see you again, thanks for watching.